Hi, I'm Aisha. You are watching Educational Hub. Your research methodology should explain the following. 1. What was the purpose of your research? 2. What type of research method was used? 3. What were the data collecting methods? 4. How did you analyze the data? 5. What kind of resources were used in your research? 6. Why did you choose these methods? First we need to understand. What is a methodology? The methodology is perhaps the most challenging and laborious part of the dissertation. Essentially, the methodology helps in understanding the broad, philosophical approach behind the methods of research you chose to employ in your study. The research methodology elaborates on the how part of your research. This means that your methodology chapter should clearly state whether you chose to use quantitative or qualitative data collection techniques or a mix of both. What are the standard contents of a research methodology? The methodology generally acts as a guideline or plan for exactly how you intend to carry out your research. This is especially true for students who must submit their methodology chapter before carrying out the research. The methodology chapter consists of the following. Research design. Philosophical approach. Data collection methods. Research limitations. Ethical considerations. If any, data analysis methods. For those who are submitting their dissertation as a single paper, their methodology should also touch on any modifications they had to make as their work progressed. How to choose your dissertation methodology and research design. The theme of your research methodology chapter should be related to your literature review and research questions. You can visit your college or university library to find textbooks and articles that provide information about the commonly employed research methods. An intensive reading of such books can help you devise your research philosophy and choose the appropriate methods. Any limitations or weaknesses of your chosen research approach should also be explained, as well as the strategies to overcome. How to structure your dissertation methodology. The typical structure of the methodology chapter is as follows. 1. Research design and strategy. 2. Philosophical approach. 3. Methods of data collection and data analysis. 4. Ethical considerations. Reliability. Limitations and generalizability. Methods of data collection and data analysis. This section will require you to clearly specify how you gathered the data and briefly discuss the tools you used to analyze it. For example, you may choose to conduct surveys and or interviews as part of the data collection process. Similarly, if you used software such as Excel or SPSS to process the data, you will have to justify your software choice. In this section of your methodology chapter, you will also have to explain how you arrived at your findings and how reliable they are. It is important to note that your readers or supervisor would want to see a correlation between your findings and the hypothesis, research questions you based your study on at the very beginning. Your supervisor or dissertation research assistant can play a key role in helping you write the methodology chapter according to established research standards. So, Keep your supervisor in the loop to get their contributions and recommendations throughout the process. In this section, you should briefly describe the methods you've used to analyze the data you've collected. Qualitative methods. The qualitative method includes analyzing language, images, audio, videos, or any textual data. Textual analysis. The following types of methods are used in textual analysis. Discourse analysis. Discourse analysis is an essential aspect of studying a language and its uses in day-to-day -day life. Content analysis. It is a method of studying and retrieving meaningful information from documents thematic analysis. Quantitative methods. Quantitative data analysis is used for analyzing numerical data. Include the following points. The methods of preparing data before analyzing it. Which statistical test you have used? One ended test. Two ended test. The type of software you've used. Thank you for watching.
like share and subscribe my channel for more informative videos.